What is going on, members of the Barrio? Day two of our action-packed adventures in Western Ireland. I am in Connemara right now, and graciously, we are sponsored by Epic Ireland. Today, Mihal is gonna be taking us canyoneering. I've never done this before. I think I remember how to swim. If you are new here, do make sure that you are subscribed and have notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of my adventures from around the world, and especially in Ireland. So what we're doing is basically we're hiking up the gorge, scrambling, waterfalls, uh, jumping, there's slides, natural slides, and um, playing around with sheep. Okay. Playing around with sheep, okay. You boys like the sheep. We love the sheep. Just informed this is also called gorge walking and now I'm fully equipped. Every time I thought I was done getting dressed, we just added more and more equipment. Helmet, life vest, skin tight, I'm talking skin tight, wetsuit. Like, like I can barely lift my arm up, but tighter is better because we will stay warmer. It is a little bit cold out right now, so let's get going, let's try this. So baby steps, spider crab. Okay, you're down like that. Be prepared to fall. Go for it! Uh, said the water is not cold. It is fresh and brisk. And it is very, very brisk. But I think all of us are starting to get anxious. survived my first jump here and uh, I've never really jumped in the water before but I think it's really important when you travel to try to face your fears as much as you can because the hardest part was uh, stepping off the ledge. The actual jump really wasn't that difficult so I'm, I'm happy I did it and I think there's a few more jumps coming up. And now he's gonna be a prince. Are you gonna be a prince? Hell yes! You know that old expression where they say, do one thing that scares you every day? I think today I did like three or four. A lot of jumping, sliding down these uh, rapids, scrambling, climbing. But what I really liked about this tour was that you were never forced to do anything. You could always walk around, you could always find an easier way, but I think it's really important every once in a while is to find a way to challenge yourself and that's exactly what I accomplished here. <laughs> All right, so we are fully dressed now. The sun is coming out, great sign. We're about to drive through Connemara here and get some lunch. This, this whole country is a postcard. have stopped at Glass Island Beach. Michal said this was his favorite beach in the entire country and he's going to show us how to do hurling right now. So you can balance that. Now oh, that's all going well. You can imagine some guy behind you trying to knock it off you. So there's a um, goalkeeper 
three defenders, three full backs we call them, three half backs, two midfields, three half forwards and three full forwards. Just inventing the rules here. Yep. I'm about as good at hurling as I am at baseball, so <laughs> we're leaving this beach now and we are going to get some much deserved lunch. Every single meal we've had in Ireland so far has had some form of potato in it. That was probably the tastiest burger I've had in Ireland so far. Now we are going to a place called Kylemore Abbey. English dude, he got married, came over here in honeymoon, fell in love with the area, and built this for his wife. We're about to watch some Gaelic football, which is a mix of soccer, rugby, basketball, maybe a little American football influence. No, there's none of that here. You'll see. How popular is this uh, sport here? Oh, very popular. It's the number one sport. It's your, from your grassroots, from childhood or knee height. Uh, like these guys are representing their villages now and their clubs. Cool. So like where we're from, Killer Air, there's only like three, four hundred people. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of pride at stake. A lot of pride, yeah. I find this uh, far more exciting than soccer because there's no offsides and it's easier to uh, handle the football. And we've already seen a little bit of scoring. So this is the most popular sport in Ireland. Though not a huge crowd here, but uh, fun to learn about a sport I didn't really know existed until today. What you've seen today, or the last two days, is just a sneak preview. So next year we're launching 2018 to a five day tour. So there's surfing, rock climbing, uh, coast steering, um, biking, mountain biking, etc. So check out the website, epicarland.com. All right, members of the barrio, what an incredible day we just had checking out Connemara, doing the canyoning, learning about hurling, Gaelic football, just exploring Epic Ireland. It's probably one of the best tour companies I've ever dealt with, and I'm not just saying that because we work together, Michal really cares about the people that come on his trips. I mean, I cannot recommend him more highly. Putting a link down below if you want to check out any of their tours, please feel free and definitely tell them uh, that I sent you. Make sure that you're subscribed. I'm putting all of my Ireland videos on my Ireland playlist to try to watch as many as you can. Thank you so much for watching. Still got more coming up. Until next time.